Yo, how y'all doing? This is gonna be a video about installing a super killer BRC thing. I don't even know what the hell it's called. Something to do with a kill switch. Cost $60, tooks, takes, tooks, takes, takes, took takes about two hours to install because it's stupid. If you wanna do it yourself, it's gonna, about, it's gonna take about two hours. And for fast, like Super Ninja Fast, it'll take you an hour and 26 minutes. Because that's what it took me. But, if you're an advanced dude, and you already installed one, you're watching this video for no reason. Uh, what's up guys? Um, I got this Killer B kill switch. Uh, I have run into my first problem, and that's why I'm installing it. Uh, basically today, earlier today, um, I was running my Baja, and the servo, the throttle servo, blew up basically. Puffs of smoke shot, and I basically was full throttle down like a playground full of kids. And I probably should have hit one, but you know, I can't do that. Um, but otherwise, that's why, you know, that's why my fucking tire split. I don't know, right here, I had a do some CA glue magic on that. Um, and I spent two hours at my local hobby shop today, and it was pretty fun. But, yep, I'm finally installing this. It's the second time this happened to me, but now it's gonna be the last time, because this should work. What's up, guys? This is me talking again. I did this thing like 20 times, but this is gonna be my last time. Um, what you wanna do is, you want to take out every single screw you see, okay? Not every single screw, but I'm over exaggerating. But you see those? You see these screws I'm taking out? You take these screws out. These are very important. This is very important to do. If you do not do it, you will never be able to install the kill switch. Um, now, reason being is that the, what I am unscrewing is this stupid plate that HPI had to make like 20,000 screws. And I am over exaggerating by like twenty thousand. But they they make you they make you take this whole entire plate off just to install one little thing. And it's ridiculous and it's stupid. And you gotta make sure you don't lose the screws and it's stupid, it's ridiculous, but that's what you gotta do. Um so there's two screws at the bottom there. There's two on the top. Uh there's one on each side, so that's six, and then there's a seventh one that you actually have to lift up the rear um, A arms just to get. And if you ever did a kit build, you know exactly what I am talking about. Uh, just that one screw is ridiculous. Um, yeah, no, but this is a kit build. I took 15 hours doing it. Um, there is a video on my channel of that, which you can see if you want to. Um, yep, I got it off, there you go, there it is, off, uh, just staring at it, and then I put it down, and then I see all this weed in my, um, my Baja, I was like, ooh, I gotta get that weed out, so I took all that weed out of my Baja engine, I was like, ooh, more weed, so, um, oh, this is more weed, uh, so I keep on taking the weed out of the Baja, and I was like, oh, look, there's the system, so then there's two screws holding in the system, that you need to unscrew. Um, you don't need to. I just felt like I should have. I just felt like I should. So I did. And I took it out. Mm, very smart choice. Very smart decision I made. By doing so. Um, where? Wow. Oh, there are the tools. Oh, yeah. No, these are like stupid washers. If you take the screws out, these stupid washers fall. And you gotta like make sure you save them. But there is that. All right, so where I'm at right now is I took the old um, quick stop uh, engine stop thing off. I forgot what it is. It's like a, it's, it's an engine stop. No wires or near the flywheel. Now this is the flywheel, and the flywheel acts as a cooling fan, so it's like tires being cut or broken. And uh, if you tell in the video, I took this little rubber stopper piece off because uh, it actually acts like a waterproof thing whatever whatever you want to call it so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the killer bee like this boom 
the one. Okay. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, it work, works for me. Perfect, just like that. Uh, okay, now what you want to do is on and negative on the negative. Now, okay. Go a little. So, definitely can go farther than that. There you go. Alright, so you got your, your posi and your negative. Now, this, I'm pretty sure this gets tucked into there. And you want to pass it. So we're going to unconnect this. Okay. And um. So basically from here on out, I'm trying to reinstall the system that I just connected the Super B kill switch to. Uh, I'm just putting this first, the, the first two screws in, uh, just so I'm able to reroute the the Super B wire to my receiver. Um. Yeah. Okay. So now is when I am trying to guide the wire into the receiver box and. Yeah, I want to make sure that there is enough room so the flywheel does not catch the wire and cut the wire. So I spent about like a good five or six minutes just trying to find the perfect position for my use of the wire. And I found this awesome spot right where the roll cage Finally is crossing. And uh, I got like one of these hefty zip ties that I just had like laying around. And um, I zip tie it to the roll cage and it worked perfect. Um, yeah, so now the wire is not touching the flywheel at all. Okay, so I finally finished wiring, not, ro not wiring, but routing the wire so I would be able to connected to my receiver box um, and I found this awesome spot um, by the roll cage and now what you see me doing is connecting a splitter into the third channel so I have an extra channel which is being used for a battery sensor um, the problems I was having in the next clip was that I was not uh, connecting the killer the kill switch properly so what I say uh, in this next clip is my own fault the and Philippines. not the systems. System, and it's like if you move it weird, it's like, see? Uh, before I demo the product um, by showing you how it works, uh, I just want to show you a picture of uh, where I guided the connector into my receiver. I uh, just kind of like dremeled out a little piece of the receiver box and it fit perfectly. I have installed the kill switch. So I push in this button. The beeping means that the kill switch has lost control with the controller. As soon as I hit the button back, has gained control and you can start it up again hello um just finished installing the killer brc thing oh yeah totally awesome dude Look at this i got a phone in my hand somebody just whispered something in my area but yeah no um the the ooh, that could have been really bad um but yeah no uh this system is awesome and you should buy one it's worth it because if you think about it if you invest the sixty dollars that it costs and it fails on you it'll just stop your Baja but if you don't invest the sixty dollars and the Baja will not stop next thing you know you got a lawsuit from crashing to a kid at like a park or something god forbid you know uh, or you're going to crash into a wall and you have to buy a new front assembly and probably buy a new chassis because you just bent it. Um, a whole new front bulkhead, uh, A-arms, you might have to get a new wheel, uh, wheels, um, a new body because you might have to split your body in half. You should really invest it. It's really like a safety thing. It should be the first thing you get. It was the last thing I got. Um, yeah, and I made a mistake. So now that I got it, now that it's installed... I won't make any more mistakes. Boom. Okay.
go buy one. Go buy one, watch this video again, and install it. Or, or, or what you do is you already have it and you watch this video and you install it. Or, or since we're already at this at this stage in time, you like the video and then you subscribe. Somewhere. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's like two minutes. It's two minutes of video. I don't know why that was why that was necessary. I'm wearing glasses right now. Glasses off. I don't know. Alright, so yeah, go watch it again. Cause it's funny. It's not funny. It's really boring. Don't ever watch this video. I'm kidding, watch the video.